good morning i am dr sundar vidwel in this lecture we are going to see the development procedure for a pentagonal prism okay so in the previous uh, section we could have learnt about uh, how to draw the projection for a prism when it is resting on its base on hp as well as uh, when it is resting on a uh, point or when it is resting on an edge or corner and so on uh, we could have learnt that in the previous section so this is the basic uh, uh, we have to know for uh, this one for the development so now the question is draw the lateral surface development of a pentagonal prism of sides 25 mm and axis 60 mm resting on its base on hp with a base edge parallel to vp and nearer to it it is cut by a section plane inclined at 30 degrees to hp and perpendicular to vp and bisects the axis this is the question so i have drawn the development for the pentagonal prism resting on its base on hp with one of its base edge parallel to and near to vp so this is an important condition we have to be very much careful in drawing this one instead of drawing this one parallel if we draw it perpendicular that is also wrong or when we draw it in this side so that is also wrong for this question so it is given as one of the base edge parallel to vp and nearer to it so this is the correct thing and i am giving the names uh, p q r s t for the top base and a b c d e for the bottom base that's what when we see from the top side p q r s t is visible and a b c d e is hidden so p q r s t is given inside outside brackets a b c d e is given inside brackets similarly when we see from this side we will get the elevation that is the front view when we see from this side for elevation we will get p q r visible and s t hidden that's what we are getting here p q r visible s t hidden similarly in the bottom a b c visible and d e hidden so a dash b dash c dash visible d dash e dash hidden so that's what we are getting e t and s d line as hidden lines like this and then as per the question it has a cutting plane it is cut by a section plane inclined at 30 degrees to hp and perpendicular to vp which bisects the axis so the cutting plane inclination is 30 degrees and it bisects the axis so the axis is being cut into two equal halves so we will take uh, 30 degree 30 mm here and i am drawing the cutting plane for 30 degrees so up to this you could have learnt uh, in the previous section so now for development development means what actually you assume that we have a uh, prism like this so this one is a rectangular prism model a rectangular prism our question is a pentagonal prism so i i have this rectangular prism model for this instance so i am using this okay so here what we are actually doing is we are uh, you assume that we are cutting an edge here so this at this pa i am just cutting it and i am unfolding it when i am unfolding what happens i'll get uh, this sort of structure i will get this sort of structure so what is the conclusion from this one is if i want to make a structure a hollow structure like this what i have to draw in the metal sheet or in the paper and if i fold it i will get this sort of prism that is my idea here so this is a sort of reverse engineering <clears throat> if i want to make a prism of this kind what pattern i have to draw it in the sheet and if i cut it accordingly and fold it i will get this prism that is the idea behind this 
so what i am doing is i am taking a point after this after doing this i am just extending this bottom base and top base that's what it is called as parallel line development and then leaving some distance i am taking a point a i am assuming that i am cutting the edge pa so that uh, it is like this when i cut it open what happens in this end and in this end in both the ends i'll get pa okay i'll get the point a and then i'll take the measurement of uh, i'll take the measurement of this one edge measurement of this edge like this i'll take the measurement and then from here i'll get phi arcs because pentagon pentagon is a phi sided figure so 1 2 3 4 and 5 phi sided figure so i cut phi arcs and then similarly in the top also we have to cut phi arcs then only we will get uh, exactly perpendicular lines so for easiness i am just drawing vertical lines here okay you have to draw light lines not darker because uh, you have to cut you have to draw the cutting plane also similarly p q r s t and p this is not f this one is a so as i told you we are cutting the edge p a we are cutting the edge p a similarly this side also p a will be there if we open it we will get p here similarly in this end also we will get p similarly this side a and a we are concentrating on lateral surface development so we no need to bother about this top base and the bottom base only lateral surface development is available for our syllabus so we are concentrating on that okay so now i have drawn the development for the full uh, lateral surface development for the full prism but our question is not uh, like this it have a cutting plane our structure is only this bottom of not this top of so we have to take this all the cutting points to the corresponding lines <coughs> so use the scale and just project all the points to the development like this 3 4 5 and 1 okay now we can see that this point 1 is on pa so i am marking the point 1 on pa similarly here also we have on pa so i am marking 1 here 5 is on te so this is te i am marking 5 2 is on qb 2 is on qb 4 is on sd 3 is on rc i have marked all these points and though it is a prism i will join all the points with scale 1 2 using scale i will join all the points 1 2 3 4 okay now now we can see that this is our required portion so what is the meaning for this one is 
if we draw this pattern in the sheet metal or in the paper and if we cut it the darker portion if we cut and if we fold it we will get the prism of this pattern with the cutting plane thank you